Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Teamer Hydra. We're going to go ahead and throw this deck over in ranked and try it out over there with the uh, five matches for today. Um, yeah, this is just one of my favorite decks to play. Uh, Bioessence Hydra from the new set is one of my favorite cards because it's just such a big creature. You know, it says 4-4 four, four there, but there are plenty of times where it's a 20-20 even with trample if we have enough planeswalkers out or or whenever you play planeswalkers after the bioessence hydra is already in play you get the counters on it so it's a lot of fun um we have we have kind of like the aggressiveness of gruel here with like spellbreaker domri phoenix sarkin backed up by the card advantage of uh simic getting tamio with card advantage hydro crisis does a little bit of both um so we kind of have like a nice little mix there. We don't have a lot of interaction in our main deck. So we're just trying to go over the top from opponents with, with cards like Hydrocrasis or... What are you doing? Get over here. Hydrocrasis or uh, Bioessence Hydra. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and keep trying this out. Because I feel like there's something here with this deck. But it's maybe not like the perfect 75 yet. Um, but let's, let's uh, keep on trying it. So, Bleh. Team or Hydra. All right, we'll go on over here. Didn't play any ranked matches yesterday, so figure we'll play some with a couple of other decks today. Well, we'll find out. We'll kind of find out today, Delotrius. It's been a while since I've played the Grixis Amass deck. It's been a few weeks. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Bye. All right, good looking hand. Let's keep it. We are going to need another red source. For Phoenix, I mean, I don't want to necessarily have to rely on Kiora uh, on, on tapping a land in case something happens to Kiora. I don't really have anything that's double green for three mana, so I might as well keep the surprise going for another turn that I have green in my deck. This looks like this is the Bant Ramp deck that's turning turning into maybe the most popular deck in the format right now. Lean off with Kiora there so we can start drawing cards. I'm not going to fight the Hollowed Found because I want to still be able to block. I know I could have gone Krasis for four there, but waiting a turn. Um, we could do Krasis for six by like waiting a turn, getting Domri in play, also slowing them down. Looks like that's what my opponent's going to do here is have Krasis for six also. Unfortunately. Thank 
can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Let's get moving. All right, Bio Essence Hydra is going to be real big. Kind of wish I would have drawn a lightning strike so I'd be able to finish off this Nissa. Yeah, it could be a big finale here, though, too. Harness the elements. I mean, I hope not, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's not, there's, they didn't do any blue mana. So yeah, there's finale for 10, and I guess I'm dead. Hmm. So I guess I need, instead of playing the Domery... Should have played the Krasis. I should have just played the Krasis for four, so then I could have had my two things attack the Nissa. The following turn after the after the Hydra. Yeah, that finale card is pretty incredible. Tough deck to stop that we're playing against here. <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't like this matchup at all for us. Cause they have Immortal Sun also, so like I guess I have to bring in Brontodons to try to stop Immortal Sun. That's a huge pain. All right, well I'm gonna instead of all that I'm gonna try Negates. Gonna try negates for all these big spells, you know, like Nissa's Nissa finale, Immortal Sun. I'm gonna bring in a couple of lava coils also. No, not not now, Yun. Saying like this weekend. All right, so playing Bio Essence Hydra right now, like Bio Essence Hydra would get bounced. 
can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> right now. So I think I just go Tamio. And what do I start looking for? I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet Probably Sarkin or Nissa. Let's go Sarkin. I think you will find my notes helpful. All right, well, there was a Nissa there. I've got it. Oh, now they just use their Teferi, so let's play the Bio Essence Hydra. They're at 17. This is a 17 power creature. That's pretty big. This thing's so big. <laughs> oh, this thing's so big. Just 17 power. I should keep this in to give my Hydra haste. Hmm. I'll take out one Tammy over that Domri. And. So, yeah, I guess Lava Coil does kill Shalai and Tristani. Or Lightning Strike doesn't. But Lightning Strike can, like, hit Anissa, where these can't. I guess we have Domri to fight also. Let's go 3 and 1. This can kill Anissa. And Shalai and Tristani. It's also kind of expensive. <laughs> yeah, our opponent put out 60 power whenever we conceded and we just had to do 17. True. I thought about putting, instead of the Ugin, putting a Star of Extinction in the sideboard here for this deck. Like, for this for this matchup, like, where they, you know, flood the board, have Nissas, all that kind of stuff. Just have, have Star of Extinction available. Certainly thought about that. Why do I love Krakens? <sighs> Just can't kelp myself. <laughs> now I'm salty. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Don't stop me now. Change one cast down to a trophy. Okay. I'll change that here, Vitellius. You will be excellent research. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. What did they name? Probably Nissa. I'm guessing.
Nature flows with vigor. So yeah, crisis for four. Draw three cards. Kill the Lanamor Elf. My wild beasts will bring your commandments. Bleh. All right, well, we're definitely going to be ki killing the Paradise Druid here for sure. I think my, my turn's just going to be attack that attack that Tamio for seven. No tail should be discarded. And then also fight the Paradise Druid. Oh, I guess maybe fight that thing. Well, I guess I can just play. Um. I guess I could also play that thing. I'd tap all my mana creatures, and I wouldn't be able to Dom refight. That's got to be worth it, though. The ocean surges, life thrives. I bow to no one. <laughs> hey, Danny Fox. We will not fail. Nature's true power. More data will be needed. Well, can BioS and Hydra finish this off? Lame. So lame. I was not expecting that from their deck, honestly, because usually they have, like, Tristani and stuff. I was just not expecting that. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Seek and find. Um, do I have lethal here somehow? I don't think so. The land fights for us. Let the blighters feel the ground tremble. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Ravnica Too many decisions to make. to make a splash. I just got I gotta play enough defense against this Hydra here for a turn. Well, that's 
That's good for me. Fight on without me. They just tapped that thing. What know you of dragons? I follow the tracks of the wise. All right. That was a really sweet match. After that game one, I, I thought we were going to really struggle, but we had some good hands. Our opponent stumbled a little bit, and yeah, we got there. Hey, good job, Monk. Way to go. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Monfly. You lost that same opponent three times today. Oh, ouch. Sorry about that. Yeah, that, well, it was, it wasn't a crisis, it was, okay, yeah, you figured it out, engine, never mind. You figured it out. All right. Hey, Nari Nen, thanks for the cheer. Good morning. So we'll be able to play Paradise Druid on turn two with Sulphur Falls untapped. And hope we can start playing like Domri and Tamio following that. I think I just lead with Domri to be able to make sure we have the mana. Yeah, because we may struggle with mana here. Especially if there's like a Chain Whirler here. here. For push nods. Let's just fight. All right, want to draw land? We draw the land. I'm playing Crisis for four. Oh, okay, not the land. Down? You should really quit before you get your teeth kicked in. Alright, so I'll get a 3 2 Paradise Druid in here. They can kind of block. They can block kind of well, also. Can block a 1 1 at least. Yeah, it doesn't die to Whirler if there's a Whirler. And with War Boss spitting out 1 1s. It can block that 1-1. One, one. It can also trade with the Thorn Lieutenant as well. All right, so Domri's going to die. Right? Let's see. Wait, if I go block, block. Yeah, Domri takes four. Yeah, so Domri dies. So I'm going to kill War Boss in a 1-1. One, one. And keep the Paradise. Keep, you know, keep my things. All right, draw and land. We're starting to get there.
All right, Vitellius. What do I want to have Tamio try to find? More Krasis? Bio Essence Hydra? Ooh, maybe actually three mana Domri, because three mana Domri can make the Phoenix a 5 3 and be able to fight Hellkite. But then, if they shoot my Domri in response, then the Hellkite only turns into a. No one asked for your input. Turns into a smaller creature. Ripjaw, yeah, Ripjaw's in the sideboard. So it's Anarch of Bolas. Yeah. There goes four lands. Yeah, now that they're, since they were tapped out, I definitely wanted that Domri. Yeah, that's my yeah, I think that I think both my phoenixes are going to die here. This hellkite is just killing me. Cuz with another land drop, which is kind of likely, uh hellkites can take out both phoenix. Yeah, the hellkites going to take out both phoenixes. Okay, it has destroyed me. The past is 
never forgotten. Not looking good. Hellkite with tons and tons of mana. But I'm going to just keep drawing some cards with these Krasises. Kind of see where we can go from here. I don't mind trading a Krasis for a Thorn Lieutenant, honestly, with like having the Hellkite in play. I guess it's one Krasis for two Thorn Lieutenants. Or just the Tamiyo. Um, because those Thorn Lieutenants can also activate, you know, for for six there. And like those things can be really, really big. Man, that, that shock was really nice. Yeah, this dragon <clears throat> is crushing me. All right, Guru. Have a good one. We'll see you back here in a little bit. Ooh, Kiora's perfect to go with this bio essence Hydra. I need to draw a land though, because yeah, this land's gonna die. I'm gonna need to draw a land. Yep, yeah, plumber came. We took care of the the leak and everything, so got the water back on. Everything good to go. There. 
All right, come on, land. Okay. Not to brag, but my friend's kind of a big deal. One drop ripples and grows. All right, got a ten ten. Ten tens are big. All right, ten tens are big. Alright, so we probably need a way to kill a dragon. So I guess we would need an Ugin in here that can kill a dragon. Um, probably need that card. And I think we want coils over strikes. Because they they probably have Rekindling Phoenix also. Yeah, I mean, I think we just want all these coils. Um, Raptor is really nice on the ground. I don't think this is a good matchup for Sarkin. I don't think it matches up very well with all the other stuff going on, so I'm going to take out Sarkin. We need to cut four more cards. And just cut the strikes. Yeah, Tamio and Domery, I don't love. Get rid of one Tamio. Maybe a Nissa. I'm gonna get rid of the fourth Paradise Druid. Thor, I'm doing really good. Doing really good. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. I don't love the two four mana Planeswalkers, but this could be a match that kind of stalls out. You know, and, and having just having Planeswalkers in our deck for whenever it stalls out to help us gain enough advantage to break through battlefield stalls is really what we're going to need here. So yeah, we got these four decks that are up here on the right hand side or on the left hand side. Well, this hand would be better if this was Paradise Druid and not Nyssa, so kind of wish I would have taken out this Nyssa for a Paradise and kept that Paradise Druid in. But potentially, maybe we're just going to be coiling on turn two. Anyway. So many land war elves. One elf down. Normally I'd be killing the elf again here, but honestly, if they just if he just draws a land, that growth chamber guardian is going to be a big trouble, being like the four four and everything. Oh, 
I look forward to how things are about to get real rowdy. Because, yeah, that, that Girl Chamber Guardian was just going to be real annoying. Oh, please, sir, give me some more. All right, draw fifth land, play Krasis. Never mind. We got rid of a couple shocks. So cycling here does give me something for Domri to be able to... Like, I can't have Domri kill one of these things. So that's good. Hmm. Witness the ties that bind us all. Harness the elements. And I used all my lava coils earlier. Ugh. Well, using the one on the growth chamber guardian, I don't. I mean, I don't really regret using either of them, but it's unfortunate that two lava coils are gone with Phoenix in here. But potentially, if we get to on top of this, we can have eight mana next turn. For a very large crisis. Enough. The land will not forsake you. Rude. Not protect itself. The land fights for us. Oh, I, sh I guess I should have shocked there. Yeah, I really should have shocked there. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business as usual. When I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. I definitely should have shocked there because now they can threaten both Nissa and Domri lethal here by attacking both of them. That's that was like kind of my plan, and then I just didn't. But like when I was counting it out at the beginning of the turn, like that was my plan, and then you know the rope thing starts happening, and you start panicking, and you just start playing your stuff. But yeah, I wanted to shock and keep another blocker. Oh well. If I would have kept the other blocker, I think they would have just killed my land, though. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're at Krasis for five. I'd like to draw a land, Krasis for six. That'd be nice. Okay, good. So we're looking good. Hmm. 
beyond vision. So I could like press I could have like pressed and like kill the Phoenix attack for nine. But then you know like the Ugin definitely dies. I feel like just getting this card advantage can be pretty nice, you know, just have our opponent use more resources trying to kill this Ugin. All right, 2-0. This t deck's pretty sweet. Played a couple good matches here. That match we got to see, like that game one, the power of, you know, Bio Essence Hydra, just five mana 10-10, just ended the game. And then, you know, Krasis has been just incredible for us. Ooh, no green. We'll draw a green source. I like our chance. We'll draw a green source here. What's considered the easiest Esper deck to play as a, as a beginner? That would be... Uh, that would be Esper Control. Um, the more controlling the deck, the easier is to play more than like the the hero mid-range deck where you're, it's that's a harder to play of like exactly what to do in uh different um like for different situations and everything so yeah i would i'd say the right going breath. with like an esper control where you just know you're the control deck and you just play a bunch of wraths like kaya's wraths and just try to kill all your opponent's creatures all the time that's that's gonna be easier to play Yeah, I've played this deck before. Uh, we played it like six days ago, five, six days ago. Let's get moving. Hmm. So are they just Simic over here? That's what it's looking like. In this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you. <laughs> this is the one game that we lost was a Nissa Crisis game. Hey, Hex Bomb. Hey, Dark Claw. Yeah, they're just going to make this crisis way too big. Alright, well, I guess I missed out a point on the Nissa. I was planning on just double spelling here, but then I guess we'll just get the Domri in play too, because we can just get that in for free. Yeah, missed, missed one point on the Nissa. Another double land. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And Krasis for ten. Krasis for ten is pretty difficult to compete with.
This is how we lost the the one game we've lost so far. Same thing. Nissa, I attack Nissa. I have I have Phoenix in play. They play Nissa. I can not quite kill Nissa with my Phoenix, and then they just play a very large Hydra Crisis, and then I lose. Well, they only made it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Interestingly enough. I'll just take out their double land. Well, I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. The ocean surges, life thrives. Same kind of cards that are in our deck. You know, Krasis, Nissa, Tamiyo. These cards are good. Hey, CEO. So they're just going to be looking for more Krasises, probably. Maybe Mass Manipulation. Alright, well, I can't beat Mass Manipulation. I'm not going to be able to beat that card. So it looks like... Looks like we're in a lot of trouble here. I mean, maybe we can one-shot our opponent with, like, a, a bioessence hydra, a hasted bioessence hydra, thanks to the Domri. Well, the cure is going to die either way, so might as well take out, might as well try to take out their planeswalkers. <laughs> yeah, Krasis <Grace is> Trample. <laughs> yeah, plumbing, Behold, problems all better. Got the pipe under the house fixed.
help you no longer. I guess you do not want to talk. All right, so they have to take up. Gotta hope they miss on mass manipulation again. Good, they missed. So they couldn't just minus the Tamiyo and grab Nissa back. That's why I attacked with the Phoenix here. And not expecting to untap with the Sarkin, of course. Yeah, that's why I had to attack with the Phoenix to make sure that the Tamiya couldn't just grab Nessa back. If all of their cards are bricks in hand, and if they attack with their 7-7 seven, seven Krasis, I think we have a chance. I'm hoping both of those things happen. Just take out the two islands. Okay, well, we've kind of stabilized. All stories must end. I kind of think I waited turn with the Domri, honestly. I think I waited turn and like have the Phoenix back to block. Also, it's not like I'm I have anything to do next turn anyway. It doesn't seem like I'm in a, a big rush just to throw that Domri out there. No. I would like to ask about any you have experienced. I have learned much from what? my ancestors. Ooh. Okay, now we're talking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can have my own crisis for seven. Let's play this first. Ooh, you were... <laughs> Maybe I'll hang on to these if that's all right with you. Dang, I was hoping to find BioS and Hydra here. <clears throat> yeah, mass manipulation is still the card, though. With all this that we've done. Looks like our opponent found that. We get to take two things. Um, I, don't, I just don't have a good answer to that card. Because, I mean... How this is going to play out is my opponent takes two, like you know, two of these these things, like the Phoenix and the Dragon, and then they can just play the other Tamio and get back the mass manipulation again, and then take more things. And that, like negate is like the only th the only thing that I've answered to that card. No, you haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, I mean, I can play an 8-8 Krasis, but then they just steal my Krasis. They can just minus three the Tamiyo, get back Manipulation, steal it. And steal Spellbreaker also while they're at it, and then attack me and I die. Let's go Daredevil also. Daredevil Manipulation could be pretty sweet. 
What if we try that? That could be pretty sweet. Um, So last time Sarkin didn't match up very well, but this time Sarkin actually does match up well, so I do want to keep Sarkin's in. So that means I have to take out other cards. That means I guess maybe I have to take out Tamio to keep in Sarkin. But this is the kind of matchup where we're just going to sit back and forth and, and look at each other, so Tamio is pretty great here. And Tamio plays on curve really well. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be taking out. There's not a card here I don't like. There's there's nothing that's bad here. Um, I guess I'm just not going to have room for these removal spells. I don't, I don't know. Um, it's about to finish. I have to, I have to decide where I have to take something out. I just took out Phoenix. I don't know. Phoenix is a good card, too. I don't, I don't know why I would take it out. I have to get rid of something. I kind of wish Arena gave you a little bit more time to sideboard. They don't... I'll give you a lot a lot of time there. But we kept in Planeswalkers and Bio Essence Hydra. And that's that's kind of my game plan here is like big Bio Essence Hydra. Maybe I just shouldn't have tried Daredevil, but Daredevil with the Tamio in the late game lets me get their mass manipulation and go find Daredevil and that kind of stuff. Turn three, Bio Essence Hydra. Perfect. Turn three, it's a 10 9, but whenever it attacks on turn four, it's going to be 11 plus six, so 17. Just 17 power. Like the phases of the moon. Like Are they dead? You will find my notes helpful. I can, I can attack them down to one here. Yeah, 19 with the elf. Come and destroy. Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. Let me aid your research. <laughs> Uh, the good old turn four attack for 19. I'm just going to attack here with my 1716. Trampler, don't don't worry about my old 1716 that I'm attacking with here on turn four. Don't worry about that. All right, one Domri in, one Daredevil out. Do I cut Spellbreaker for Phoenix? Yeah, Phoenix has got to be better than Spellbreaker. Yeah, I go kills turn four, turn five. Sounds about right. I don't know, Kiora works really, really well with that Bio Essence Hydra. 
And I think that's my ga my main game plan is try to kill this thing really quickly. I don't think I can make a crisis that big storm because they died before that. <laughs> All right, good. No blue mana, please. Don't do it. No Tammy. No Tamio, no Tamio. Ow. All right, we need to drop planeswalkers. Yeah, the Chandra's from M20 look really good, especially that Mythic one. Hey, Tamio. I was just saying, please, Tamio, please, Tamio. You would make an excellent informant for... Hmm. I know I noticed this somewhere. So I went with Krasis because I have four Krasises. Looks like it turned out <clears throat> it's turning out to be a pretty good pick. You could use some manners. Seek and find. Kira? No, there's Sarkin and Nissa. I'll take the seven seven. Seven seven's pretty good. Next turn I can minus three Tamio, get back like Nissa or Sarkin, either one. Play that, make the Hydra bigger. Alright. Three and O oh here with Teamer Hydra. Going up towards Mythic, almost there. The deck's sweet. Bioessence Hydra is just so much fun. It's it's such a big creature. Such a big creature. Yeah, that, that is an awesome part about Kiora. Every time your Phoenix revives from the graveyard, you get to draw a card because it's another four power creature enter, entering the battlefield. That's some good synergy right there. Hello. Strike. All 
All right, so we have Crasis for four next turn if our mana creatures survive. That'd be nice. That, was, that land we're off was a well-timed draw for us. <clears throat> right on schedule. All right, whatever. I guess we'll have to wait a turn, but they, we'll just play the Druid, kill the Teferi. But yeah, we need to be pretty aggro here against four-color commands. Because, you know, command, they can, you know, we need to kind of attack their life total a little bit to make it so they can't just. I can no longer um. stand by and watch. This might be a bad idea. So they can't get Only as many things back with Command the Dread Horde. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. That's a killer. That's a killer. I would love to draw my own Tamiyo. Love to draw basically any Planeswalker here. Yeah, really just any Planeswalker. No. Where's the Planeswalkers? Yeah, Massacre Girl's sweet. And there's a lot of mana creatures running around these days. Massacre Girl does seem pretty good. How does Massacre Girl... How does, like... Oh, it's... Massacre Girl's legendary. Okay, I didn't... I couldn't tell that right away from the... I couldn't tell that legendary border right away from there. Because I was just thinking that. I was like, how would multiple Massacre Girls work? What if we spark double Massacre Girl? Does it like does it kill the first one if you spark double the other one? Really? Looking for Teferi Time Raveler when there's already two in the graveyard? I'm Sorin Markon, Lord of Ivistrad. Mm -hmm. Sorin's pretty annoying here with that lifelink. That is a weird legendary name, right? Masker Girl? That's That does not seem like a legendary name. Usually ma legendary names have, like, you know, a name. Could be Girl Who Massacres. Embrace the bloodlust. Man, no Planeswalkers. I'm sad. And your progeny. I didn't want them to block my bio essence hydra. I could have let them blocked and then striped during combat. Because bio essence has hydra has trample, but 
they're certainly blocking. I just don't, I don't really know like the upside to like waiting till after they block, and then striking. I guess like if they just don't block, I, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I guess there is some upside, but they're certainly blocking. So unfortunately, I had to use that lightning strike there, but yeah, they'll just get Soren back, have Life Link again. Yep, yep, yeah, that's a command. I mean, I, I could still... So best draw still is drawing a Planeswalker, be able to give this, make this Bio Essence Hydra huge. But I guess they'll just bounce it. Hey, Blue Jen, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, we could make our Hydra enormous if we had if we were playing Command and put a whole bunch of Planeswalkers in like that. That would have been Trust me, I have a plan. like right there. That's like 13. Loyalty immediately. So Massacre Girl and then Soren Lifelink. Those two little pieces. What a mess I've made. Beating us pretty bad. No tail should be discarded. Will not stand for such pain. violence. I'll show you drywall. I love to make a splash. I'm likely attacking, like, if, if the Soren brings something back, <clears throat> I'm likely going to attack it with the 4-4 four four to try to, to kill it, so don't know if that one point on them is really worth it. It's going to be really difficult for us to beat another Command the Dread Horde just regardless. Let's slow this down. All right, well, I'm glad I attacked the Soren for one. Beg for mercy. I will. Oh, the day is yours. All right, we need to draw. We need to draw four mana Domri. So I can just give this. I can play four mana Domri, tick tick up, add mana, give the Hydra haste, and kill them out of nowhere. Or you know, come close to killing them. I guess not exactly kill them. Okay. Wait, may maybe actually kill them? No, probably not actually kill them. Uh -oh, I don't know. How much is this? Twelve plus four is sixteen. Uh 
Oh, one mana from playing this other Kiora. The other Kiora would make it lethal. Oh, one mana away from other Kiora. Yes, I could have untapped the Bioessence Hydra, but it doesn't really matter because they're going to bounce it with, like, Teferi or something. I'll get rid of it somehow. So I'm just going to keep the extra loyalty on the Teferi on the Kiora. Because they can, like, have this Tamiyo, grab Teferi, bounce Hydra as, like, one thing they could do. Uh, then try to attack Domri. Uh, I'm sure there's other things they can do also, but I want to keep the loyalty. Oh, they just had Teferi in hand. Keep this loyalty on the Kiora. I guess, I guess untapping, though, makes them actually bounce the Hydra and not bounce the Llanowar Elf. But why would they bounce the Llanowar Elf? Because then if they bounce the Llanowar Elf, then they oh, don't okay. get to... All right, so this would put me down to two. Soren tick up would put me down to one. Can they? They could have another Soren that could kill me. I should probably block. Yeah, like an, an Oath of Kaya, that would be kind of weird to have, but I guess they could have an Oath of Kaya. The Elf does let me play... Oh no, I can because I can still play both of these. Yeah, so never mind. Yeah, we don't need them. Hey, what's up, Sway? Getting that six-month resub in, and yeah, I'm playing your deck later on with the Rakdos Aristocrats. That's our first sub of the day, that is. That's our first sub of the day. Thanks, Sway, for that resub there. Thank you. The four four has menace. I can't. I can't block something with menace. You belong to me now. So they're gonna command the dread horde for a bunch. So yeah, that that's what they're gonna do. They were well, no, because if they minus two the sword, they don't get it back. They couldn't tilt the two. Well, as long as they don't have cast down. It's us or them. Every day is a new as long as they don't have cast down. Okay. I think we got this. Our opponent probably just thinks. Everyone is expendable. Probably doesn't realize how big my Hydra is going to be. Alright, let's not mess it up. Let's give it haste. Boom. The old 24-24 Trample Haste. Our opponent probably thought they just had that all locked up. Wow. Just scooping. I think they were kind of upset. A little upset there. They thought they had, they had that all locked up. We drew the four mana Domri. Get that hasted Bio Essence Hydra. The scoop. Yeah, that Domri was the sickest top deck ever. Maybe we do need some more Domri's. Haste Hydra just kills people. Haste Hydra. 
All right, four now. Gonna play one more match here with Team Hydra. Yeah, you could. Re yeah, if you need to replace Phoenix in this deck, um, I would play. A f I'd play another Bio Essence Hydra, and then probably want some more four power. Are there like Ripjaw Raptors? Yeah, Ripjaw Raptors would work. Four mana, four power creatures for Kiora. You could also just go. Instead of Phoenixes, you could also just go more Planeswalker heavy also and just play more, uh, like, Chandra, for example, play, like, more Planeswalkers. We are 4-0. We'll go with final boss music. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. All right, well, we got the combo. How does Bioessence Insider not have a card style? Thing's so strong. No, Chandra's treating me well here with the. I like the the red with Chandra and then the the blue green with Kiora. Good combo. Didn't get the red mana. Uh, this curve would have been nice if we had the Lightning Strike here, and then Kiora, then Hydra. But untapping with Electromancer, a little rough for us. A little rough. Deck list shows a Grixis list. All right, now it should show the correct list. Sorry, I forgot to hit that little button there. I'm surprised nobody said anything about that. This is our fifth match that we're playing. I defy gods. Defying you will be easy. Where's the red mana? Uh, not sure. Not sure. It's not in our hand. It's not in play. Probably in our library. I guess that's where it'd be. Yeah, in our library somewhere. We'll just just have to go to the library got that to find it. Feeling again. Nature flows with vigor. I'm gonna just play the 8 8 draw card. There we go. There's some red mana. So if I play Nissa and, like, you know, make a 3 3, they can just, like, lava coil or, like, strike or whatever my 3 3, and then they're, like, attacking the Nissa, or, like, they then they kill the Kiora. You know, like, just some. Some bad things can happen. Hydra is going to be a lot harder for them to kill, being an eight-eight. And now, once it, since it's an eight-eight, then I play the Nissa next turn, and it turns into a fourteen-fourteen, because and this will add six loyalty counters to this thing. Hands off. I'm glad they didn't do that before the Hydra entered and made the Hydra just a six-six. Me too much. <laughs> it's a little phoenix. Just a cute little phoenix. Ah, uh, no. My plan to have a fourteen fourteen Hydra, all ruined. It's gone. gone. I mean, they're dead here, but my plan's gone. I guess I should strike first, because we just saw... 
We did literally just see Spell Pierce. They could have another one. Maybe I should have strike first. So we didn't have to worry about their lightning strike because my Spellbreaker had, had Hexproof there. <laughs> Alright, so Daredevil is usually good against Phoenix to take their coils and coil some more things. And we want more coils to coil some things. Coiling things is important. Um. Hmm. Can I take out Domri? It's kind of fragile. Fighting isn't as valuable. Fighting phoenixes isn't so great. I don't really like how Nissa lines up here either. Do I want to play Ripjaw over a Rekindling Phoenix? I mean, yeah, I like Ripjaw, but I'm just trying to think of like what I want to take out for the Ripjaw. And I guess it would be like a Phoenix. Um, I want to keep these things. Tamio getting Tamio getting back Lava Coils. Sound pretty good. Yeah, Phoenix will get coiled, but Phoenix actually blocks Flyers. I think I'll I think I'll trade out one, still keep the three Phoenix and trade out one there. It, I could take out a Sarkin. No, I'll just do need to keep a good amount of Planeswalker still in to make Bioessence Hydra the best it can be. <laughs> good looking hand. The bad part about having all shock lands is your life total does not start very high. How's Ripjaw Raptor good here? It's really difficult for them to kill Ripjaw Raptor. It hits hard. It doesn't die to shock, strike, or coil. And whenever they do deal damage to it, block it, anything like that. Um, you get to draw cards. Well, if they can kill one Paradise Druid, might as well attack with the other. I kind of feel like my opponent was holding up, like... Uh, a spell pierce whenever they played that electromancer probably kind of waited on it it resolving so playing around the spell pierce some with the crisis i mean i know i would have been able to tap these two to be able to pay for crisis but high fives are pretty big no sword can pierce me. <laughs> So I wanted to attack with Druids here with how low their life total is. Which is why I didn't double spell. Alright. 5-0 and oh there in ranked. Let's get that victory fanfare.
almost through diamond now thanks to team or hydra that deck was really sweet honestly you know I've, I've enjoyed this deck before i think the changes that we made last time worked out really well you know last time we didn't have the domery we had a chandra instead of a domery this domery was awesome like giving haste we certainly won games only because of this domery um I have to say, like, the card that I was maybe the least impressed with or liked the least was, like, maybe the Nissa. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of weird, though. Nissa's just great. But I kind of wanted more Domri. But I don't, I don't know. Like, if we had, like, too many too many Domri Chaos Bringers, we'd probably, you know, like, draw it too much and then, like, not have it. Or, like, it'd miss on creatures or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah, but, like, that that was a good addition. And uh, and then we also added in the Ugin this last time. The Ugin helped out went helped out one of our matches. Um, and then we added in a Ripjaw Raptor as well, which we didn't really use. But we didn't play aggro. This deck was a lot of fun, though. It's really sweet. Teamer builds are pretty fun to play, and I like this one quite a bit. Um, so there we go. I don't, I don't think I really want to change anything. I don't think I want to add in a second Domri. Like, like, I mean, I kind of do. Yes, I want to add in a second Domri Chaos Bringer, but I don't want to take out a Sarkin or a Nissa or really a Tamiyo or Kiora was awesome. Domri, was, this Domri was good. Fine. Like, I don't really see anything that I want to get rid of, basically, for this Chaos Bringer. Um, so that's why I'm not, not doing anything with it, because I don't. I don't know. We'll just have the one. So like whenever we draw it, it's great. If we don't don't draw it's okay. But yeah, if we could just have a few more cards, like I wouldn't mind having a, a second Domri here. I would like a fourth Bioessence and Hydrix. That card's just awesome. Also. But we're only playing sixty. <laughs> JC, you know JC just joined in here saying cut the Bioessence and Hydras, considering that was a card that was like winning us so many games. <laughs> 20 power haste creatures with trample. Pretty good. That's how we won against some of those opponents with just tons and tons of cards. Just kill them with Hydra. All right, so there we go. That's Teamer Hydra. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And please hit the like button over there and subscribe to the channel as well. But that's it here for Teamer Hydra. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.